questions that I'm often asked, particularly because of all the publicity about density of the breast, is what does that mean? Let me take an opportunity to explain it to you. Whenever you have mammograms, one of the important questions you should be asking the radiologist or the radiology technician is, do I have breast tissue that is really dense? Why do we say that? Well, when you look at an x-ray of the breast, the breast tissue itself is white. A cancer then is typically white. And if you have white on white, you may not be able to see the cancer, which is why ultrasound is an important diagnostic tool also. That's one reason you want to know how dense are my breasts, because the more glandular tissue, the more dense the breast is, the less sensitive the mammograms are. And also we know that having a lot of density in the breast is an increased risk factor for breast cancer. So the next time you have mammograms done, ask the radiologist or the tech, how dense are my breasts? We generally categorize it by greater than 75%, 50% to 75%, 25% to 50% and lower. The more fatty tissue you have in the breast, the more sensitive the mammograms are. But if you have greater than 50%, then additional imaging of the breast may be really important. And typically, that's often doing ultrasound of the whole breast. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.